I welcome here with me Professor Julio Norman Rico. You are from the Federal University of Santa Catarina in the south of Brazil. And I learned that it's the first time you are holding, you are participating in a Solar World Congress. We are here in Santiago de Chile and um, two conferences take place at the same time. So what is your impression on such a solar research event? Okay, yes, it's my first time here. Uh, I'm very, very pleased with this participation. I'm very interested for us to uh, know the community in the solar energy area because we are from the control and automation area. So we work with the application of control automation, so different process. And in particular, we are very interested in solar energy systems. Uh, it's one of our uh, area of research. In fact, I'm the coordinator of a group research groups in renewable energy and, and at the department and we are applying several strategies to several uh, solar plants okay so you had a poster on this conference where you were talking about your research regarding an improvement of a fresnel collector what is this research about okay, our research is about the uh, automation and control system that try to optimize the operation of that system okay if you have some uh, fresnel uh, collectors then uh, the classical ones uh, operate with uh, one degree of freedom you know the movement of the 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 the, 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 the collector uh, cannot be done in an uh, optimized way. So we are researching how to improve the system in order to uh, improve the um, capture of the solar radiation and try to control better control the temperature in the in the receptor of the of the solar plants. Is it also a question of overheating in the collector? Yes, yes, also. When you have overheat in the collector, then you have to defocus the collector quickly. And if you have mm, many, uh, most degree of freedom, you can do that better, uh, trying to uh, have less, uh, um, less time, uh, smaller time to, okay. to the react of the system. You know? That is very important for the, for, for the, the collectors. Huh? I think you were also explaining on the conference that you will realize your first project with these concentrating collectors. What is this project about? Well, we have a project with a, with a company, with a, another part of our university, another group, the group of mechanical engineers. We are working in a new plant that will be constructed in Brazil in the, in the next future to produce an electrical energy from solar energy. So it's a, uh, solar collector for with uh, salt and sa uh, sa south, okay. more mo 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 than south, sorry, okay. and we are with some uh, the, um, storage system, and then it's a three megawatt plant, and we are trying to make a plant with a very very good uh, instrumentation in order to have several measurements of the radiation, temperature and different points in order to research about the best for way to do that type, type of plants and, and, and increase the, uh, the, um, see, the, the energy you can uh, recover from that, from that process. Okay? Mm. And it's actually a, a project which is financed, what you told me about, from Electrobras, which is an oil, Petrobras, 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 which is a gas and oil company. Yes. So are these companies getting more interested in solar now in Brazil? Okay, uh, Petrobras is the, the biggest company in, in online guys in, in Brazil, but he, it is a company that is interested in, in the energy. Yeah? Uh, not only in petroleum and gas, but uh, all, all kinds of energy. So uh, they are investing in, 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 in renewable energies, in wind energy in the north of the country, and now they're starting with a, a project in solar energy in order to install in Brazil the first plant and then try to increase this in the, in the future in order to produce also uh, energy from renewables and not only for, for, for oil and gas. Okay? Very interesting. Is generally solar in research circles in Brazil picking up? Yes, I think uh, it's, it's growing. The, the, the research in solar energy is growing. Well, in academy, in academy, also there are a lot of universities researching things. But in industry, this is going slow. There are uh, good investments in photovoltaic system. You know, the the, the country is growing that. The, in wind energy, also is growing. But I think uh, the the rise time of the 
thermal solar energy will be bigger. Eh? We will have to wait some years to, to, to have Brazil, Brazil uh, with a good potential, good potential, no, with a good real implementation of that plant. The, the potential is very, very good because Brazil has a very big area with uh, very good uh, irradiation in many parts, principally in the northeast, in the north. And well, the, the, the opportunity is, is here, you have to, to take and uh, increase that. Eh? Okay. Yeah, so I wish you good luck for your work, really. Oh, okay, thank you very much.